with three different formulas, remember guys? We have our standard, I believe I did it in red. And our standard formula dealt with A at X plus B, Y plus C is equal to zero. We also had our point or slope Y intercept. Slope Y intercept. Okay, so far intercept was y equals m x plus b. Okay, we can actually relate these formulas. I can figure out what m, remember m is the slope, what m would be in standard form. Okay, all I have to do is using these same letters is rearrange standard form to be equal to y. Okay, think of it like a substitution question. So what I'm going to do with standard forms, I'm not actually going to put any numbers in for A, B, and C. I'm just going to rearrange them as if they were numbers. So in the end, what I need to do is I need to get this formula, my standard, equal to Y. That way we can have an idea of what they are equated to. So in order to do this, and I'll, I'll do this slowly because I know this is a bit different for you guys, I'm going to move C to the other side of the equation. So. AX, yeah, I'm going to do it one step at a time, though, because I know this is kind of new to you guys. BY is equal to, when I move C to the other side of the equation, what's it going to become? Negative B. Negative C. <laughs> Negative C, okay? And now, I'm going to move my AX to the other side of the equation. So, this will now become BY equals negative C minus A x. Okay? Now I need to divide by by b to get this equal. So I can divide b, b, and b. So in standard form, to get your slope, if you want to just look at the letters, y is equal to negative c divided by b, negative a over b x. So, how about I have this? Perfect. I'm going to move it over here so we can see the similarities between the two. Okay? M deals with slope. What will my slope be in this new equation I've discovered? Well, Jeffrey. Yes. Yeah. This would be our slope. So, let me know in those two equations, okay? I know I haven't showed you this before. Slope in our one equation is m, or in our standard form equation, slope is equal to negative whatever the number a is over whatever the number b is. So you can quickly look at standard form and apply that formula to find the slope of it. Okay? Sure. I know that can be confusing, but you can do it. With that being said, what about my b? B is my y-intercept. What would my y-intercept be in this equation, Tom? Negative C over B. Yes, negative C over B. So our y-intercept is either B in our slope y-intercept form or y-intercept is negative C divided by B. So you would take the value of C divided by B and make it negative. And that would instantly tell us what our slope, or sorry, not our slope, what our y-intercept is. So I've just related the two of them. It might be a good idea to show you this with numbers now, okay? So I'm going to show you an example with numbers. Uh, let's actually do number 115. Sorry, not 115. Let's do... Uh, Page 116, example one. So get your blue notebooks out. Make sure you can see all this. I'll get that ready. So that's everything we just covered there. That's how we relate the two. So the whole idea is this. I want you guys to realize that standard form and slope point intercept, I'm still dealing with the exact same equation. I'm just rearranging it, okay? They've used different letters in standard form, but it can be... It can be related to slope y-intercept form.
So let's use an actual example. Page 116 in your blue notebooks. Okay. Blue notebook. Page 116. That's a funny one. They've given us a question. It says write the equation of the line parallel to 2x plus y minus 5 equals 0 passing through the point of blah. Let's try to relate the two first before we do anything else. So they've given us an equation 2x plus y minus 2 equals 0. Is that right? Nope, sorry, minus 5. Minus 5 equals 0. What form am I in right now? I'm in standard form, okay? Remember our standard form dealt with an AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Now before I rearrange this to be into slope Y intercept form, my hearing just left. We're gonna try that trick we discovered above. Remember we decided that slope is equal to negative A over B. So I'll write this over here in standard form. Slope is equal to negative a over b. Now remember guys, you don't have to memorize this because you can always rearrange it into slope y-intercept form, but you do have to know what m and b are in slope y-intercept form. But if you want to move quickly, this is a trick. What would be my a value? Two. Two. And my b value? One. That's right. One. There's no number there, but it's technically a one. So apparently the slope of this, according to our trick, is going to be two over 1, negative. Okay? Don't forget, I have to add that negative. So, apparently, the slope is negative 2. Okay? We're going to test it to see if this works after. Uh, what about my y-intercept? Y-inter, I'll call it. My y-intercept, apparently, is negative c over b. So, what are the values of those? What is my c? Just 5? Negative 5. Very important we get that negative in there, okay? Negative 5 over, and what was our B? 1. So my actual y-intercept is what? Positive 5. It was negative 5 when I plugged it in, remember? But there needs to be a negative in front of it because I'm looking for negative C over B. C was the value of negative 5. When I plug it in, Negative and a negative, I end up getting a positive. So apparently my y-intercept is at 5, and my slope is negative 2. This is our trick. Let's actually rearrange it and see if it worked, okay? So I'll rewrite that formula above. It was 2x plus y minus 5. So 2x plus y minus 5 equals 0. To find out our slope, because it's asking us about parallel lines. Normally, we set it into our slope y-intercept form. So I've got to set this equal to y. So I'm going to move everything to the other side very quickly. When I move negative 5 to the other side, it becomes positive. Oh, I forgot my plus y. And when I move 2x to the other side, y equals negative 2x plus 5. What is my slope? in this question here. Negative 2, that's my m, right? So for my y equals mx plus b. There was my m, which is negative 2. Exactly what we found above. And what was my y-intercept? Positive 5. Exactly what we found above. So if you guys want a trick or a quick way to find those things, get the entire page. You can technically follow this little formula for standard form. The only reason I don't show it to you and ask you to memorize it is because I realize it's a bit complicated. Just having the ability to manipulate the formula is easier. If you just turn standard form into slope y-intercept, we already know m is the slope and we already know b is the y-intercept. But for those of you who want to make, you want to move things quicker, this is fine. You can apply it this way if you can remember this stuff. I'm not going to ask you to memorize it. I'm just going to tell you it can be done, okay? The whole idea of this is I want to show you that there is a relationship between standard form 
a y-intercept. All it is is rearranging the equation. Okay? Now, uh, let's continue with that. It says passing to the point of blah, parallel. So we know that parallel means we're going to have a slope of negative 2. Let's check what we got on time here. So, uh, your homework tonight, try this. I've given you enough information where you should be able to figure this out. It's not quite the way I presented it, but I want you guys to think through these questions. You know how to do this stuff. It's in your blue notebook, page 139 and 142. So I've written that in your blue notebook as lesson 3.2. Write the notes down, so those definitions. Write whatever definitions down from that on those pages. It tells you in the blue notebook that this is your textbook homework, page 124, 1, 2, 4, 16, 18. So it's five questions. It's in your blue notebook. Remember, I always put your homework in there, okay, guys? So the blue notebook, again, is page 139 to 142. And in the blue notebook, it'll tell you these text questions are what you're doing for homework. I have to do with identities of triangles. You guys have the information to do this stuff, okay? So try it out. Come to me tomorrow with questions about this stuff.